Hi everyone, it's Victor speaking. And I thought I would make a video about Saturn um, as um, he is the planet of reward. And we have uh, spoken about the Saturn Uranus square um, so much this year, probably we approached it uh, in a very negative way as well. But we should not be forgetting that Saturn at the end of the day is about the greatest reward we can receive once we actually live through the sign, what it kind of represents. So therefore, this video is going to be, I'm going to try to be very uplifting and um, uh, list uh, some possibilities for you how Saturn can reward you in the sign of Aquarius if you manage to embrace those energies. Now, um, before we actually go into that, uh, if you like the video, then please share the content with others, press like, and also uh, just ring the notification bell. Actually, I looked at my statistics and I can see that 50% uh, of my viewers are actually not subscribed. So you might wanna subscribe to the channel if you feel that the content I'm providing is actually useful to you. So I do believe uh, we have not mentioned enough about the rewards Saturn can give us in the sign of Aquarius. So the aim with this video is to actually give you some hope and maybe give you some guidance how you can bring the most out of Saturn's restricti restrictive energy as well. The key with Saturn is that we always have to stay committed, disciplined, and we need to work hard, especially towards our long-term goals. So as I mentioned in this video, we will be specifically uh, focusing on the positive meanings of Saturn. But at the end of the day, it's going to be your choice how you actually live with that Saturn going through one of your houses. So firstly, you might wanna be looking at where the Aquarius cusp is in your chart and then try to implement all this information what I'm sharing with you today into that uh, meaning of the house. So for instance, um, Saturn goes through my 12th house at the moment. So whatever I'm gonna be sharing today with you is all about trying to integrate that meaning or those possibilities with the meaning of the 12th house, which is all about spirituality, kind of like decluttering, um, something coming uh, into peace with your subconscious fears and all those type of things. Okay, now when a planet usually goes into a new sign, especially uh, the slow moving ones, um, then they can be chaotic, problematic, but it, Saturn especially tries to teach us something. So the Saturn is the great teacher, but uh, with Saturn, we need to remain calm, organized. And once we actually uh, try to thrive in that area of life, it gives the biggest reward, no matter what. But we cannot avoid responsibility. We cannot put our head in the sand. That's the whole idea around Saturn. So um, let's just have a look at uh, what's the meaning, what the meanings are of Saturn in a positive way. So Saturn represents your ambitions. It asks you to kind of create boundaries and be a little bit more practical about whatever you approach. This is the planet of career. It kind of wants you to consolidate your ideas or think about your long-term goals. Um, it wants you to kind of control any type of situation, sometimes step back a little bit and then try to look at situations in your life as an outsider before you get involved. It is the planet of mastery. So it wants you to actually gain more experience, more knowledge about the situation before you make any type of uh, decisions. Usually we tend to be mastering our Saturnian energy after the age of 36, um, and then it can be blooming till about age 48, 50, when we start focusing on something else. Um, actually, it could be bloomed till the age of 58 when its energy is shifting, but I'm not going to speak about the Saturn returns today that strongly. So, but whenever Saturn um, uh, hits something in your chart, it is kind of like a reality check. It's a balloon popper. So what it really wants from you is actually to face the reality, look at what your fears are, and then kind of eliminate those. 
this is the planet of destiny. So it always wants to push you towards something better. But remember that the road is always bumpy and how you tackle that road is absolutely up to you as an individual. But it requires to practice some type of excellence. It wants you to create order in your life and somehow following your own principles, your law, as well as the universal laws as well or the laws, whatever the government is kind of telling you to do so. This is the planet of long-term goals um, and wisdom. So gaining knowledge and wisdom about something is just gonna build you, give you a solid foundation, which is kind of unrockable. So it wants to structurize things in your life. It wants to crystallize whatever area of life it is um, uh, touching in your life at the moment. Now, we're going to be speaking about uh, medical meanings as well today. So Saturn represents your bones. It is related to wind, acids, knees, the, mer uh, the marrow uh, in the bone, the secretive system. Uh, on an internal level, it uh, represents your spleen, a little bit of your upper stomach area, the ribs, uh, the hair, the nail. Um, um, it talks about salt intake, for instance, you might want to be watching out with Saturn, especially if it's triggering your sixth house. But it could talk about the consumption, consumption and the constipation as well. So Saturn is something to do with uh, the time. So it wants you to kind of be patient about something. It gives you the tasks. It's, it, I, I tend to call Saturn as, as a planet which is... Um, um, which is kind of giving you that task, like, like, um, like a professor, right? Who is going to be grading your exams. And it depends on you how much you prepare for the exam. Some people need less preparation because they get the signs very quickly, but some need a little bit more. So especially the earth signs, you know, um, or the fixed signs especially, they might need a little bit more time to integrate all those type of changes. But when it comes to the mutable energies, they can be picking up on these signals a little bit quicker, but absolutely depends on the rulers as well. So it's very uh, general. But overall, Saturn talks about the acceptance of responsibility and to practice patience in that area of life, but work hard towards it. So when we try to bring this together with um, the Aquarian energy, right, which is very clever, it's very educational. So actually, it could indicate that the, the study system, the education system will change significantly for the better, right? But it might just want you to uh, learn something towards your long term goals, which you can benefit uh, down the line. Um, the benefit might not be coming today, it might not be coming tomorrow, it might be a few years time. Actually, with Saturn, it's very possible that you're going to start some initial results uh, in about three, four years time. Aquarian energy is very eccentric, and the, uh, Saturn is the planet of responsibility. So it kind of wants you to take a charge uh, of your original self right so it could talk about going back to the roots a little bit and then having um having um to see where there were some type of changes in your life when you kind of denied your true self and then how how can you go back to the roots but also it talks about to take responsibility for your self-expressions um, um aquarius rules over equality and Saturn is uh, rules. So it's very possible that uh, during the Aquarian um, season or during the Aquarius uh, period, because Saturn tends to be spending two and a half years in one sign, equality is going to be uh, a huge topic. And maybe there will be different type of rules about uh, accepting other people's perspective. Remember, I read this uh, quote somewhere a couple of days ago that you can't have that opinion. And then, and then somebody replied, well, this is my opinion and um, you should be accepting that. Now, I don't exactly remember how this uh, quote goes, 
But remembering that everyone has got different uh, approach to life and everyone is downloading kind of different information according to the readiness of their of their spiritual uh, realm, you know, uh, we just need to be a little bit more accepting. Uh, Aquarius rules about fairness and Saturn can indicate um, something to do and plus yeah, fairness, and then it also can indicate something around um, government, or it could indicate something around uh, overall the society, the relationship between the government and the society. So uh, maybe it could talk about accepting that it's not easy to make these type of rules because it's not going to be pleasing everyone. But uh, Aquarius is all about community. So how can we form a community? How can we be on the same page so that we, Aquarius, as a world, Aquarius, gonna move forward, right? But Aquarius also talks about inventions and uh, Saturn is the time. So it's very uh, possible that someone is gonna build a time machine, for instance, right? Well, putting the jokes aside, but it could talk about that some of the inventions which they started, let's say 20, 30 years ago, is actually coming to fruition uh, in the next couple of years. But this is uh, very true on a personal level as well. So you can be inventing something. You can actually invent new rules, new uh, approach to the certain area of your life, wherever you are. So to give you an example, as I said, Saturn is going through my 12th house. So maybe I can create a new timing technique when it comes to astrology, or I can teach Saturn about rare, because uh, uh, Aquarius rising sign is the rarest actually, about rare astrological events online and so forth. Um, so it's all about um, mastering your original ideas and then creating some foundations for those. Uh, Aquarius talks about freedom. Uh, it's a freedom-loving sign. And um, Saturn can actually represent the businesses, for instance. So this could talk about, for instance, that the businesses will uh, get maybe a little bit more freedom, which I kind of doubt, to be frank, but it could talk about the fact that it's time for people to start thinking about, can I have my own business? Can I have an element of a freedom when it comes to not necessarily working in big organizations and so forth? Uh, but it also about how I can serve the society with the business I am having. Right, so Aquarius is typically about spotting trends. So sniffing around a little bit what the society needs at the moment, how I can be original in that field, and then basically putting the foundation down of a business. Uh, Aquarius is very future orientated and Saturn also represents your goals as well. So remembering that what you do now with your life might be affecting what's gonna happen to you in the next five years. So again, laying foundations for something who you want to become when you are older. Uh, Aquarius likes reforming things and um, Saturn can represent the government. So it could really talk about the reformation of the government, maybe around the votings as well. Uh, maybe uh, uh, it could talk about um, kind of like the death of monarchy in a sense. So equality for everyone, right? But Aquarius represents internet and, uh, and um, um, Saturn is the work. So it could actually indicate that some of the online stuff is gonna be blooming, the online industry, right? So the online shopping, you can organize or you can organize, sort out Saturn, your business, your errands basically online as well. And then you don't need personally to attend places, but it could just talk about the fact that you can work online as well anywhere. Right, so, and it might be talking about that the workforce is going to get restructured as well in the near future. Uh, it could definitely talk about revolutionary stuff in technology. Um, so something uh, going back to the foundation of let's say how internet is used, right? And then we're gonna boost the speed and so forth. So Aquarius is very scientific. Um, there might be uh, possible lows around or changes around uh, the usage of internet and how they can actually price those and so forth. 
uh, Aquarius is all about intellect, the higher octave of Gemini, right? So it's not necessarily the factual data, but it's the collective data, what we can get. And uh, it might be talking about uh, the need to actually master some of the skills when it comes to the universal uh, downloaded information. But overall, this talks about the restructuring of the education system. Now, um, actually, uh, Saturn can represent elderly people in your chart. And Aquarius is something to do with uh, the future, right? The innovation part. So maybe they're going to be coming up uh, how to extend your life a little bit longer or how to uh, build, for instance, communities when it comes to the elderly homes. So one of the positive manifestations of this could be building elderly homes, uh, providing and giving a little bit more care to them, right? But also Aquarius talks about uh, space, uh, the outer space. So it could talk about a, a project which eventually gonna get finished by the time Saturn leaves the sign of Aquarius or maybe when it shifts into uh, Pisces at the beginning. So uh, some of those uh, projects on the outer space program can uh, come to fruition as well. Now, <clears throat> Aquarius could represent any type of wild changes in the weather and Saturn might be that uh, we're gonna try to somehow to protect it. So it could talk about regulations about the weather conditions, I mean, what I mean by that is that let's say we're going to be using less uh, um, technology, for instance, or we're going to try to simplify those. But some type of technological revolution, I think, is at the corner, um, just because we want to be protecting the environment a little bit. So environmentalists uh, might be appearing a lot more in the near future. Uh, Labor work changes, very possible. Saturn can actually indicate oil drilling. So we might be introducing some type of a new oil drilling uh, techniques or, um, yeah, or some type of machines. Saturn actually can represent the agriculture as well. So the changes in the agriculture uh, or agricultural industry uh, might be somehow at the corner and we get in a review or a preview of what is coming up in the near future, especially from a technological advancements point of view. <clears throat> now, Saturn can talk about construction business and it could show some type of changes. <clears throat> now, changes that we're gonna be using different uh, materials, for instance, but also it could talk about the prices. Now, I do know that the prices in the construction business um, has actually doubled in the recent years. Um, I know that on a personal level and also my friends um, who are building um, stuff at the moment, yeah, they just complain all the time. Um, but um, Saturn can talk about uh, in Aquarius, for instance, that we can get a recognition in social media somehow. We just need to put the work in. We need to create plenty of videos, for instance, or we need to write plenty of articles. We need to put plenty of uh, posts on uh, the different type of social media uh, channels. <clears throat> but recognition can come once you put the hard work in. Uh, Saturn can represent your traditions. And uh, Aquarius is kind of like the renew. So it's kind of like creating new uh, traditions as well, right? So very possible that we're gonna have a new uh, uh, day, which is gonna be off from work because you know we, we wanna be celebrating something. So, or, but on a personal level, you know, you might have actually realized the, the value of the family and for instance, spending Christmas together, because I know many of you could not spend their Christmas together last year with families. So maybe some of the family values will be changing also. You can receive an honor uh, through technology uh, related matters, or actually it's a brilliant time to get a business qualification as well. And then you can increase your reputation slowly but surely. Uh, Aquarius can represent your, represent your friends. So actually you might get to know new friends or you're gonna get to know who your real friends are because Saturn is a balloon papa. It's all about reality. And you might see that some of your friends are flaky and they need to be left behind and then I can replace them with worthy people, right? So it kind of like... Um, um, 
we've got this herd mentality, which needs to be integrated into a good fellowship. So on a higher scale, it's definitely about how we become one together, how we can care about my personal needs, but at the same time, how I can care about other people's needs as well. And it might not be about just expecting something in return, but um, more about the true desire to contribute something to the world, to somehow make a difference, right? We could talk about that the false democracy is going to um, lead into a true democracy. Um, so something to do with the obligations, what we've got towards the society and uh, implementing our individual rights as well. But uh, what serves me kind of needs to serve others as well. So things around democracy is also very, very possible, uh, very possible. Because Aquarius is kind of like that freedom element, right? So um, how to become truly free and Probably this uh, transit really asks you to think about what the freedom really means to you, right? Uh, is that because you want to be free from uh, working for a big organization or you want to be free from uh, parental uh, controls and so forth? Right? But it really asks you to fully understand your situation, right? And uh, kind of become an expertise in that area of life and, and have a kind of like a bias-free way of thinking as well, which takes time. So uh, uh, it's all about patience, right? It, it also can talk about that, you know what, we've been addicted to um, technology so much. So uh, what are my true values at the moment, right? Um, and what I can really create through technology. So. Um, you know, it might be just I'm flipping through Facebook and then um, looking at posts, or do I actually use technology to connect with my friends, right? So that way, how I mean that this uh, true value of the technology, because we're not going to be escaping from this. Technology will be around. It's thriving. So I'll give you an example. Obviously, I could not see my friends for two years in London. Uh, and um, on a regular basis, we connected on Zoom. And I used Zoom before to, to do work. And now I also use Zoom to actually uh, meet people online. And then we are having drinks online or, you know, we are having dinner together. What they cooked, what I cooked, but there is some type of experiences shared there, okay? Um, so, and, and on a very higher note, I think this Saturn also tells us to realize how powerful the mind is. So once I put my mind to something, then I can actually achieve incredible things, right? So Aquarius represents the freedom, but we only uh, achieve that freedom once we take responsibility for our lives. Uh, and then if I want to contribute a little bit to the society as well, it doesn't mean I have to save everyone, but just nipping in wherever it's possible. It might be just the fact that, you know, I'm going to be picking up the dog poos um, in the park, right? And I'm not just going to be uh, leaving the rubbish around. And this is exactly what also Saturn might be talking about, the waste, right? So it might be about... Um, that uh, there is gonna be some regulations around how to control the waste management, right? Or it could talk about, because Aquarius is an air sign, it could talk about the air pollution as well. So how can we minimize the air pollution? And by maybe reducing some of the use of technology or some of the usage of, uh, of uh, you know, how can I maintain more the power, what we've got and so on. So there is so much goodness about Saturn being, um, you know, Saturn being in the sign of uh, Aquarius. Uh, I usually say that, you know, it's all about making lemonade out of lemons. So remember that uh, Saturn has got a 29 year cycle uh, and Saturn, could represent, yes, areas of life where you feel restricted, but that's also your biggest liberation as well, once you are aware of your own limitations and boundaries. 
Yes, Saturn can represent where your doubts are or where your lack of confidence is. Is. But knowing about that, actually, I can start building a foundation on it. And then eventually that fear becomes uh, my biggest asset, right? Uh, yes, with Saturn, we might fail, but look at it as an experience at first, because then I'm not going to make the same mistake the next time, right? Uh, it talks about building a moral compass. It's a long apprenticeship program. And eventually we become a master of that. We just need to stay self-contained. Probably we're gonna have to grow up a little bit. We're gonna have to become wiser with Saturn. And then once we are ready, then Saturn gives you a tremendous amount of um, improvement in your life. I, I kind of feel like Saturn actually gives more than Jupiter. Jupiter gives a lot at the beginning. And then when you don't um, look at them as an opportunity, then it takes it away from you. So I really hope that um, this is helping you to um, to understand certain uh, positive energies in the sign of Aquarius. So if you did enjoy the video, then, um, then share this with others. They might get some enlightenment as well. Thank you, everyone, and see you very shortly. Bye-bye.